To get to the top of global sport and creativity, we have to start at the bottom, right down to the foundation, which is infrastructure development. And that is why this groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of the Talanta Sports City is therefore another step up the ladder of our bottom-up transformation of our sport and creative industry. And as the minister has said, this facility will be accompanied by the renovation in Kasarani. We will then proceed to renovation in Nyayo. The renovation in Buhungu Stadium in Kakamega will be underway to deal with our chance uh, competitions. The renovation in uh, Buhungu Stadium, the renovation in Kipchoge Stadium, and we are seriously considering another stadium in Mombasa. There was a huge debate as to whether we should have this facility here or we should have it in Mombasa. For reasons that I was persuaded, we decided that this facility will be here, but we will equally find a place in Mombasa to do a good stadium that will be a low altitude stadium, which will both support our sportsmen in athletics and in other games to train at the low altitude um, facilities in Mombasa. Let me commend the work that has been done over the last six months. I know many teams, they have met with me many times. We have gone back and forth because we wanted to make sure that the stadium is world-class, it will be built in record time, and it will be cost-effective. Because ultimately, we must account for every shilling that we spend from the coffers of the people of Kenya. I am also very proud that the team has also taken into account the position of Kenya as a great champion of matters, renewable energy, environmental um, uh, issues, hosting UNEP here in itself is, is a big step and a major statement. And therefore, I am very happy that many of the trees here will not be cut down, many of them will be saved, and we will plant additional trees, as we have done again this morning.